Well, gold has been officially known as a form of currency given its, uh, its universal acceptance as a store of value. Gold has been a part of a country's foreign exchange reserves for several, year, several years. In the past, countries held gold as, part of, as their major assets in their reserves, and there were countries that had gold as the only assets in their reserves. Back then, when currency was mainly gold-based, central bank held gold reserves because it was related to a fixed exchange rate. Now, the Central Bank from Curacao and San Martin, the CBCS, uh, manages such a fixed exchange rate regime. In order for the gilder to be packed to the US dollar at 1.79, um, the central bank needs to have sufficient official foreign reserves. In the case of the Monetary Union of Curacao and San Martin, gold forms a part of this official reserves. And as of December 31st of 2022, the bank had a gold stock valued at 1.4 billion gilders. Um, mainly, the CBCS holds gold reserves mainly for precautionary reasons. So these reasons are based on three characteristics of gold. Being that gold is valuable, it's reliable because its intrinsic value is relatively stable. The second one being that gold is, it diversifies the official reserves of the central bank and it lowers the risk towards other currencies. The third one being that gold is relatively liquid so it's easily sellable that means that it comes in handy in times of economic turmoil think about for example the economic devastations that COVID 19 had on curacao and san martin and also the economic devastations that hurricane irma had in, in 2017 in san martin so the cbcs relies on this gold stock in order to maintain the pack stable and also finally Gold is internationally known as a symbol of economic and monetary stability.